Hi guys, so this video now is going to show you how to self-massage um, those muscles around the, the sort of upper back shoulder area. So this is because you can get a, quite a bit of tension and I get a lot of clients in with this issue. So they get a lot of tension between the sort of, uh, between the scapula and the, the shoulder blade and between the, the, the scapula and the spine. So it's those areas there. So either side of the spine um, and it can get really tense and tight and knotted if you like. Um, so um, this is a great way to help relieve that tension. Um, the big thing to note with this is that yes, it's great for helping with pain relief um, and it works really, really well. If this keeps happening and you're finding that you're needing to rely on pain relief and tennis balls and whatever else to relieve that tension, then chances are those muscles are actually not, uh, chances are they're not strong enough to cope with what you're asking them to, uh, to do. Um, and they get overworked and they get tired. So it may be that they actually need addressing with a little bit of strength work. Um, and chances are the muscles at the front of the chest as well are probably quite rounded forward. So once we start to relax this, strengthen the muscles at the back, then that's gonna work really, really well. So with this, what we do is we grab a tennis ball and we grab a sock. Bear with me a second, dog's crying. Come on in. And we grab a tennis ball and a sock and we place the tennis ball in the sock. And the reason we do this is it works really, really well to uh, hold the tennis ball over and to find those areas without needing to uh, grab your hand and put, place it over. Um, the other thing is that it works really well in the sock because it tends to stick quite well to the wall as well. So with this now, again, we're looking between the shoulder blade and the spine. So you're going to place it in that area. And then what I'm actually going to do is, I'm going to do this side, show you, is then I'm just going to back into the wall. And I'm going to bend my knees a little bit and into a bit of a squatted position. And then what I can do is I can actually put a little bit of pressure with my legs against the wall okay so now all i'm going to do oh that feels so good um all i'm going to do is roll up and down to see if i can find some tender spots and i'm going to find some nice spots there oh that works really well and then what i'm actually going to do is keep it on there and then i'm going to start to move the arm around okay um so you can either move the ball which works well um, or you can just place uh, pressure on certain spots and then start to move the arms and the shoulder blade, give it a little bit of a stretch and work that round. Um, and you can work obviously both sides, you can have a fiddle around and see where you can find uh, certain points. So you'll be able to find this, uh, be able to do this better than any massage therapist in the world because you will be able to pinpoint the spots better than anybody. So um, do it nice and gentle, start off nice and easy. It should feel like a quite a nice discomfort. Um, it feels like a good pain as, as a lot of cl my clients tend to say. So um, give it a go, see how you get on. But remember if, it, if you find that you keep needing to um, rely on the tennis ball and re rely on the self massage techniques then chances are there's something else that needs addressing. So go and find somebody else that can help you with that as well. So I hope that helps guys and see how you get on.